Hi there, it's Marlene Hilema from ImageMaven.com and in this video I'm going to reveal the mystery of the function buttons of the Lumix G9. Now this will work for most Lumix cameras, at least all the Lumix cameras I own, so pay attention and let's learn all about function buttons. Now I have to say that I have largely ignored the function buttons in the past, mostly because, you know, perhaps I was too afraid to learn it, uh, didn't know how to set it up, and didn't really see the need. But because of feedback from viewers like yourself, I have learned a lot about the Lumix camera and how some of you are using function buttons. In fact, that's how I got the idea for this video. Imagine if you could just push one button and that favorite menu you were looking for in the menu items was right there on the top level. Wouldn't that be great? Well, that's what a function button is. Now the Lumix G9 has 19 function buttons that you can set up and one function lever. So they are pretty important. But if you're new to Lumix cameras, they can be quite daunting. As I said, they certainly were to me. By the way, if this is your first time here, thanks for checking me out. I teach photography, photo editing, a little bit of lighting, and I'm a huge fan of Lumix cameras. Please subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Here's a few facts about function buttons. They can be used when you're recording your photos and videos, and they can also be used for playback. So there's different sets of function buttons. And we also have two buttons on the front of the camera as well as a function lever. What I suggest you do is grab the PDF owner's manual. And if you need that, it's in the video description below or use the one that came with the camera. And what I suggest you do is go to the beginning of the manual and go to the section on setting up function buttons. And that will give you all the different settings that you can program into the function buttons. All right, let's dig into the camera menus of the Lumix G9. This is what I'm using for this demo and learn how to set a couple of them up. And then you can start using them yourself and pick the functions that you would likely use the most. I mean, there are tons of options here, so take some time to study them. You're probably already using some function buttons and there's several function buttons that are set up at the time of purchase of your camera. And those are listed in the owner's manual. All right, let's dig into the menus. First thing we're gonna do, go into the menu set button, go down to the tools, go into operation and hit menu set again and scroll down, it's page three of seven, onto the function button setup. You can do the recording mode buttons or the play mode buttons. Let's start with the recording mode. So now you can see here that there's like an expanded view of the back and front of the camera. Once you're in the function button setup, you can see the ones that are already assigned. So function one is the autofocus, function two is the quick menu, function three is the live view, and function four and five are the buttons on the front of the camera. Function six is Wi-Fi, histogram, uh, your viewfinder display and your image stabilization. Function 10 is off. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 are off. 16, 17, 18, and 19 are off. You also have play modes, playback mode functions. And function one in playback mode is the Wi-Fi connection. Function three is the live view. Function four and function five are off and they are also on the front of the camera and these are for playback. I'm going to show you something else. If you hold the function button down for two seconds, what happens is you can change the assigned uh, function that that button has. So example, I could change it to any other function and assign it to function one instead of the autofocus mode. But I kind of like autofocus mode being there. So I wouldn't change the function buttons that you're already using a lot, I would assign the ones that you're not using. Here's another way to get into the function menus and to set them up. You see this little FN right here? Touch that on the back of the screen and it brings up some of the other functions. Function eight, function seven, function six, and you can see that function seven is the histogram, on and off. 
Okay, now I'm going to set up an unused function button. So I'm going to go into my menu set. I'm going to go into the buttons. I want to do one in record mode. And notice that function 10 is off. So let's go into function 10. And you can see here that you can assign anything in this list to function 10. And there's like a lot of pages of them. But I'm going to set it to be color space L monochrome D. Because sometimes when I'm shooting, I like to go from color to black and white. And I really like this setting. So now, when we go into the function set up here, you can see that before the function 10 was grayed out. And now it's set up to L monochrome D. So I just choose that. And you can see that the color space changed. I can turn it off by hitting it again. So it's off, on. Let's take a picture. And let's do display. And you can see that up here in our display, it now says L monochrome D. If we get rid of it, it says standard. So right now I'm in standard color mode. Now I'm shooting against a fairly monochrome background, so you can't notice the difference too much. But you can certainly see that in the settings here, it changed. As you can see here, there's lots of different things you can assign to your function button. I mean, it's incredible. You can pretty much set up any function that the camera can do to a function button. What this does is it stops you digging through the menus. And that is the benefit of using a function button. All right, we can restore to default. And now function 10 is off. Now, I have a feeling some of you noticed that I glossed over how to set up page two of the function buttons. Well, let me explain. This section here, functions 16, 17, 18, and 19, are controlled by the wheel here, the dial on the back of the camera. But notice that functions 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 are grayed out. There's no way to set them up, but it looks like they're attached to the joystick. So what you have to do to set those up is go back into the menus and change how the joystick is managed. So you go back to your menu, and there's your joystick setting. You click into it, and the default is actually defocus movement. You can choose menu, and here we are with our function buttons. We'll choose that, and now we'll go back up to the function button set, go into the record mode, go back to page two, and now you can see that functions 11 to 15 are available for setup. So just like the other function buttons, you choose one, and you choose what you want to set it up with. Let's just make it quick menu for simplicity. And let's set up function 16 as well. And let's make 16 video recording. So now when we go into our function, so I can't remember what I did. I think it was the, whoops, whoops. There we go, quick menu. So it was the up facing one, that's 16. And now I'm in the quick menu. Instead of using this button as the quick menu, I've used my joystick as the quick menu. What about this one? There we go. That's the function button right here that I set up. And it started video recording. And I can stop it just as easily. So if you don't want to use the video recording button up here, you can set up one of the function buttons to do video recording. And that's all there is to it. Now let's set up the function lever. So right below function button is function lever. Click that. The function lever has two settings, mode one and mode two. But let's set one up. So right now it's on silent mode. We'll click that and let's change. Just like with the buttons, we can do it with the lever. Right now mode one is on high quality JPEG. Let's set up mode two for shooting in RAW. So right now it's in JPEG. So we'll take a photo and I'm going to switch the switch, the function lever on the front here. And you can see that it changed to raw right there. So now I've taken a raw file, play it back. And in our playback mode, it says raw. And the one, the other one was high quality JPEG. So if I want to quickly change something, and I don't even want to touch a, a function button, I can do it through the front of the camera as well, 
using the function lever. And you can get back into the default setting, which is right there. Super easy, right? I think the hardest part is going to be remembering which function you set up with each function button. Let me know how you use function buttons in the comments below this video. I'd love to learn from you. We'll see you next time.